it's my very great pleasure to get here today to, to talk about business in Canberra. Today we're at the first Canberra Indigenous Business Expo. It's great to see so many Canberra Indigenous businesses. We've got accommodation, clothing design, cultural heritage, HR consulting, there's a law firm, there's a furnished apartment, a whole bunch of different Indigenous businesses coming together to pitch their wares. Indigenous culture provides a level of capability, connection to country, uh, the importance of family. We need to be able to reach into those values and say, what does that mean for business today? Where in the winter? Thank you, for, for clothes. I didn't think that I could make a living out of my storytelling. I thought, well, either either I give it a go now, or I don't, will I regret it? So, yep. Yeah. Come back, shake your shoulders, pretend to lick your So that was my passion. I wanted to learn about about my culture, and I wanted to promote my culture. I'm I'm so surprised that kids just take it in. You cut a small one this out, and this is what you use. You can carry you can carry your berries, your vegetables, nardi seeds, and you crush it down. You make damper. Most of it's been a word of mouth. I've gone myself to all the schools and preschools and stuff. I walked into the office and introduced myself and gave my business card. But the last last couple of years, and especially the last six months, um, it's really taken off. I've got a very busy March, May, I'm just about booked out for NAIDOC week already. <laughs> See the smile on those kids' faces, and it's, and it's just wonderful. Bundestone's been going since 2013, not too long in that, but um, you know, always say that we've been here for 60,000 years plus. We do um, cultural heritage survey work. Um, we also uh, build bush tucker gardens around Canberra and the regions. Anything to do with um, culture. And there'll be a test later on too. <laughs> We're currently um, looking to um, expand the business. See, this is Noonawal country. Noonawal meaning we the people. We're looking at to employ all Aboriginal people because they understand um, you know, like the um, things that we need to do, the um, journey that we need to um, follow on that to um, try to get our message out. In the back of my mind I had always wanted to open a studio. As of this year we've bought another studio in Queanbeyan. So last year we had 300 students um, and now we've Still growing and at the moment our numbers are looking at 320, but my goal is 500. They come in and they tell me what they've done during the week and what they've learnt and the parents say, yeah, you were missing me all week, they were talking about you. We do a lot of Indigenous contemporary work, a lot of floor work, a lot of different stuff to keep them excited and keep them motivated. Our culture is amazing and we should share it more. So I think that's why I do what I do. So there's always two reactions like, oh, darkies, well, how can you use that? You know, isn't that derogatory or, or isn't that a racist? Started off with uh, approximately 10 designs um, that were my own and sold them to friends and family. That was the start of darkies designs. and you know, selling my clothing nationally and internationally. Just recently secured a four-year contract with the Department of Veteran Affairs to provide all their corporate and promotional materials and equipment. It's huge for, for Darkies Designs and really proud of that. So something that's happened recently is an actor from the ABC's black comedy, Elizabeth Wamara, has worn three of my designs three weeks in a row. Wow. Now you know how Aboriginal people feel, and so does Pebbles. It's given me exposure, not um, just around the country, for, for, and to 
ab other Aboriginal people, but uh, mainstream Australia as well. And there's always been Aboriginal people in business, but there's never really been a kind of gathering. I approached the ACT government to to have a forum where Aboriginal people could come um, together and yarn and talk to each other and support each other. The Yarning Circle was the first of its kind in the ACT. It showed that there was, really was a community of all types, a growing support network, something that encouraged Katrina to start her own business. Just seeing the variety of, of uh, people who I've known for a very long time out there and, and, and shaping their futures the way they want it to be. And it gave me a sense that there's a lot of goodwill in supporting people getting their business started. The company is uh, seven weeks old and the company itself is about working with corporate, government, non-government um, sectors in Australia to deliver better value. One of my biggest disappointments with Australia more generally at the moment is that they don't see themselves as part of this incredible, rich, longest surviving culture in the world. I think it gives a real genuine opportunity to improve relationships in a unforced way that perhaps some of the larger government schemes or programs and things make people feel. We started off as a facility maintenance company, now, now we're actually moving into um, providing trades to construction. The, the two projects that, that we're working on with the most cultural significance to us as an Indigenous business is yeah, the, the older person's home that um, we're working on with, with Black and also the um, Ngunnawal Bush Healing Farm, which is an Aboriginal um, drug and rehab centre. When we wouldn't be on a project like, like this um, for our Aboriginal elders here in, in the ACT if it wasn't for um, people like Laura Hartley and, and Liz Cable. So the work I do, the work that ACT government does, is it's in supporting Indigenous businesses and business intenders really is a, um, a genuine collaboration. As part of this project, one of the project conditions are we have to try and use Indigenous people on the work site wherever possible. It's not an absolute precondition, but we were more than happy to do that. Well, look, the future for St Hilliers and Alliance is, is looking very good in terms of they understand our business, we understand their business. The services that they've provided for the Bush Healing Farm project has been fantastic. Love that there's a small network of of Indigenous business here, but I think you know, it would be fantastic if we saw a lot more emerging. But I think what we're seeing across the board now is um, companies like ourselves at the end of the day that are a, an Indigenous business that can actually stand on their own two feet and, and provide just as good a service or a better service than, than any other business that's playing in our space.